Alright, let go. Gotta leave my Phoebe background open, cause you know, Phoebe is life. Freaking best ghost type gym leader of all time. Deadass. Hoenn, like, yo, I'm assuming that this is your, your freaking Oras remake team. <laughs> cause Miss Magius was not a Pokemon back in Gen 3. Enough said, like, this has to be a remake team. Dusclops and Bayonet were on your original team, yeah, I know that. Driftblim also was introduced in Generation 4. This guy right there, and then Dusknor was introduced in Generation 4 as well. So, this has to be an Oras remake team. Which, in your team itself doesn't look bad. But, I mean, I'm, I would love to see a Gengar up there, and I guess Mimikyu wasn't a thing, but Gengar, for sure, would should be on there, man. Like, I don't see how you can be a Ghost-type trainer and not have a Gengar. Like, Miss Magius, I can understand. Miss Magius is, like, a good staple. Dusclops, too. But having Dusclops and Dusknor? I guess one's offensive, one's defensive, kind of, yeah. And then a Bayonet could be your Mega. But, hmm. I uh, I only see five Pokies here, I should kind of think of it. Why am I so focused on- Oh, boom. Sableye. So you'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, interesting. So that seems like a makeshift team. So I don't think only four members have six Pokemon. They should have four or five. So, hmm. But yeah, this girl is freaking devious. She's lost her mind, y'all. If you actually have taken the dialogue that's going on, it's freaking ridiculous, bro. Like, she pretty much tells her own daughter, like, yo, I don't care who you are. I don't care how loyal you've been to me. Anyone can catch these hands. <laughs> that's pretty much what she's saying. It's crazy. Oh, this beat goes in. I'm gonna turn this shit up. <laughs> Alright, yo, let's go. She's doing her freaking transformation like she's a transformer. But I see, like, a whole lot of jelly tentacles coming out of her body. Like, what's up with Japanese people and their tentacles, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I said that in, man. Like, yo, like, even in the Pokemon game, I see a woman surrounded by tentacles. Like, what's up with that, bro? What's up with, what's up with this? Alright, so, Clefable, let's go. This little thing of nightmares. Oh, everything on your team is boosted? What's no wonder. I'm like, that's not a normal Clefable. Bruh. Okay, let's go. Mmm. This beat goes in, though. Come at me, ho. Hmm. How hard is that gonna hit? I don't know. What's the best choice here? Switch into Magnezone and go for my Steel type Z move. I need to beat this down. That's the whole point. I need to beat you down ASAP. Um, and your only attack is Moonblast. Uh, but then that can also lower special attack. So I should just yeah I should okay I know exactly what to do. Just stall you out. Okay, I'm just gonna Moonblast you down and try and lower your special attack. Sire Moonblast doesn't hit me too hard. And before she does it to me instead. Hmm. That see that buff that she has, the freaking orange glow around, that makes all her stats like all her attacks do more damage and her take less damage. It's a stupid way of like increasing the difficulty of the game. Like, it's not really increasing the difficulty, it's just being kind of cheap in my opinion, because it's not like they're using genuine strategy. Like, I don't see why couldn't they just give Pokemon items like life orbs, why couldn't they give them strategies and like, the ability to like switch out and stuff, you know what I mean? But instead it's gotta be like, oh hey, let's just boost all their stats by 50 to 100% and call it a trial. Like, uh, not really. N like, that was, mm -mm. back in the day you had hard battles when none of this shit existed, bro. But I ain't complaining, I'm just saying. It's pretty stupid. It's like you're pretty much starting off with like a Pokemon that has like a nasty plot up plus like an iron defense up plus an amnesia up plus like everything up and it's like that's unrealistic. But um that also gives me the chance to set up with my Ooh Incineroar, yeah? Kind of. I could do that. Interesting. How do I wanna go about this? You're gonna get two attacks off if I switch into there. Which isn't really helpful. Hmm, my best bet is to stay in here and draw out the fight a bit, see what happens. I'm just going to go for Giga Drains.
I gotta keep the taunts going, yo. I might have to sacrifice you so I can get like a good switch in. I can also stall with need for speed, right? So that could be a little strategy. Should I sacrifice this and then bring in you and sub some calm minds and see what happens? Cause you probably can't kill my slow bro. Hmm. I could probably try and get you up to plus six, right? Hmm. Next strategy possibility would be bringing in my Magnazone. Hmm. Let's see. What would I want to do? Either way, I can't sacrifice you. Um, and then bringing you in is wasting a turn. Either way, I can't waste taunt turns. So. You're not gonna spawn special attacks that nicely, are you? Or is your special defense actually good? Oh, your special defense ain't horrendous. Yeah, Flare Blitz, but that's just gonna get me killed in the process. But it's alright, I'm gonna I'm trust my Flare Blitz. And yeah, I can get a burn on it, you know? It should do some decent damage nonetheless. And if I get a special attack drop, it shouldn't hurt me. Okay. There we go. So we can deal with the Clefable. I can't afford to go for the Fire Fang and let it miss. Darkest Lariat might not even kill it knowing the, the buffs that it has. So, you know, let's go for the Flare Blitz again and be safe. This is an intense battle though. The Clefable is just stupid, bro. Like, it's just stupidly buffed up, yo. Like, are all our Pokemon buffed up like that, dude? What the fuck? Who's up next? Milotic? Alright, I can deal with the Milotic. I should be able to. How do I want to do it? Do I want to, like, do it this way? Hmm. All I want to do with you. You know what? I'm going to stay... Uh. Hmm. Question is, what kind of attacks does it run? Like, is it safe enough for me to go for the Elite Seed predict and, like, being able to live your next attack? Like, uh, is it safe enough to bank on- You know what? I don't see you having an attack that can kill me besides Ice Beam. Question is, do you run Ice Beam? Like, I don't freaking know, bro. Like, I don't freaking know. But I guess I have a revive for this? I don't know. I don't have any Hyper Potions. Hydro Pump, I should live, 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 I should live! Okay. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Whatever. What the fuck ever. I can I can just take this Pokemon ever. I'm just gonna sleep your whole team with my slow, bro, bro. It's beef. You want me to you wanna see me play seriously, bro? I'm gonna show you yo champion Cynthia movie music is playing right now. Let's freaking go, bro. Let's freaking go, bro. I'm gonna show you my real my real strength here. Oh man. Yo, you want it, bro. You really want this. You really want this, man. You really want this. You really want this, bro. You took out my freaking prize Pokemon, bro. You took out my baby. Whimsicott is my baby. Whimsicott is my boo. And you and you dare kill it, bro? You dare kill it, bro? I'm gonna get the plus six before you even start fighting, bro. I don't care. I'm not gonna touch you until I'm at plus six. I'm not gonna touch you. I'm stacking all the way up to max, bro. And then I'm gonna start... And then I'm gonna start attacking, bro. You want the beef? You want the... Bro, plus six. Let's go. Plus six, bro. Yo, you brought it on yourself, man. You brought it on yourself. You brought it on yourself. Just know this. Just know when you get yourself swept by a slow bro, it's because you took out my baby. Okay? Just know that. I, I critically hit! Bro, I don't even care. You know what? Elite Seed's gonna do everything. Elite Seed's gonna do everything, bro. I don't even care. I have slack off too, bro. Like, whatever, bro. You need your critical hits, because you freaking know you can't kill me without critical hits and stupid hacks. Bro, I'm getting salty at a game, yeah, but I don't care because I know I'm going to beat her in one go with my slow bro. Let's freaking go. Alright, so, um, Calm Mind again, that was, f this is number four. Hydro Pump, you better not, that's no, not going to crit, it shouldn't crit twice in a row. Alright, there we go, that's the kind of damage I'm talking about, yeah, yeah. And you know what, I should probably go for a slack off just to be safe, just in case she manages to land some other crit out of sheer freaking luck. You know what I mean? Cause like yeah, I'm slower than it, right? So I mean, if she manages to get a crit, then 
You have recover. Okay, noted. Well, I mean, I, I should have known that, because, like, my low legs are usually run recover anyways. So that's no biggie. I have slack off, too. You want to play that game? I can play that game. But the difference is that I'm getting the plus six and you're not. Well, I mean, you already are kind of, like, plus three anyways, like, right off the bat. So what I'm going to do is that by the time you finish... Okay, I'm going to plan this out so that I can get my plus six and then have the leech seed stack up the damage so I should be able to take it out with my psychic. Because the thing is that even though I'm boosting up a lot, the boost that she already has pre-applied kind of neutralized the boost that I'm giving right now. And Slowbro is also not the most offensive Pokemon. So it's going to be kind of difficult to gauge whether or not I can one-shot it. So I'm just going to try and let leech seed take his HP down a bit. And the thing is that the game is an NPC, right? So it's going to notice that once the HP is like a certain point, it's going to want to use Recover. So I'm going to try and time it so that before it uses Recover, I'm going to hit it with that psychic and potentially Oko it. That's my goal here. So I'm at, now I'm going to be at plus 6. So right now, she's going to go for the Hydro Pump. I'm going to dodge. So next turn, she's going to go for Recover. So now I'm going to get the gauge to see just how strong my Psychic is going to hit her. I have enough power points to, to really beat her down with my attack, so that's good. She, she gonna go for it? I think she detects the threat incoming. I have my Z move here for it. Safeguard, perfect, okay. Perfect, so I'm gonna get to gauge. Even if she doesn't die to it, then the leech seed should pick her off. So, plus six psychic, how strong are you? What's her next Pokemon? That's all that matters. Lilligent. I didn't give it Fire Blast, but I can't give it Fire Blast because I need Slack Off, right? So, Leech Seed, whatever. As long as you die, Leech Seed shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. Eating through your buffs, eating through your buffs, eating through your buffs, eating through your freaking buffs. Buffs, what are those? Miss Mangius has a lot of special defense, and I don't want to enable, give her the attack, ah, give her the chance to hit me with a Shadow Ball plus Mystical Fire, bro. You think I'm a joke? Do you think I'm a joke, bro? Oh, that's why you want to lower my special attack by one stage. Ha <laughs> ha. That's all you can do. Ha ha ha. Eat this Hydro Vortex, bitch. Get hit by that Typhoon, yo. Hurricane Katrina up in this bitch with my slow, bro, yo. Eat this. Eat this damage. Eat. This damage. Yeet! Alright, who's next here? Who's next? Who's next, bro? You killed my Whimsicott. You killed my Whimsicott. Beware, bro. Beware, yo. Psychic. Let's go, bro. You're getting swept by a slow, bro. I don't give a shit, bro. Yo, you dare kill my Whimsicott, baby? You dare kill my Whimsicott? You dare kill my Whimsicott? Oh, Lord, help her. Lord, help her. No one lays a finger on my Whimsicott, okay? I don't care. You can kill my starter. You can kill my instant roar. I don't care, bro. You don't touch my Whimsicott, bro. That's beef. That's beef, bro. Get swept by a slow, bro. Get swept by a slow, bro. All right? Just know that. Level up. 53. That's how you fucking do it, bro. Freaking slow, bro, dude. If people have trouble with this girl, I swept her with a slow, bro. With a slow, bro, man. Like, get on my level. Real shit, bro. She's in, like, shock. She's like, dude, did the player really just do that? Like, dude, even she's like, nigga, how dare you do that to me? You freaking kill me with one of the slowest Pokemon. Like, dude. I hope that she, like, actually gets saved. Yeah, because, like, you know, that's Lily's mom and shit. But, I mean, I still don't really understand why her personality is totally changed like that. I mean... Like, the Ultra Beasts, are the Ultra Beasts themselves evil? Like, I don't get it. So, like, did she have, like, a bunch of evil in her soul? And then when she figured out about the power of the Ultra Beasts, she kind of let the power get to her head? And, like, she just said, fuck everyone, I'm the I'm the new god of this world kind of thing? Or is it, like, the Ultra Beasts have some, some kind of evil power that, like, took over her? Because I know that the, that the island deities defended... Um, the freaking Alola Islands against the Ultra Beasts, meaning that the Ultra Beasts are supposedly evil? And I mean, the Ultra Beasts seem to have a natural advantage over them, over the island deities, considering that they're fairy types, and the poison rock type Nihilego already has an advantage, and the steel types also have an advantage. Buzzroll is the only one who has a weakness, which is bug fighting. So, I can kind of see the fights against them being difficult besides Buzzwalls. So, I don't know, um, does she, why are you, 
I don't even know, whatever, bro. Like, the whole point is, yo, I just sucked this bitch with a slow, bro, because she started a beef that she did not want to start. Well, no, she wanted to start the beef, but she didn't acknowledge that she started beef with me. There's a big difference, starting beef and starting beef with me, okay? Like, they're two different things, alright? And she brought it upon herself to kill my most prized Pokemon. She killed my prize. She killed my pride and joy, bro. I had to give her the most levels of disrespect because of that. Like, if it was any other Pokemon, I would have just played the battle normal. But no, instead, I sat there and I wasted turns setting up Calm Mind after Calm Mind after Calm Mind just to give her the most levels of disrespect and show her, yo, I don't even need to use my team on you. I could have carried just Whimsicott, just slow, bro, and beat you. I didn't even need the rest of my team. I could have used just two. Just, oh no, actually Incineroar actually helped with the Clefable. So then just stone. Like, Whimsicott actually didn't really do much beside the Taunt. But I'm, you know what? I'm not even gonna say anything because Whimsicott carried with that Taunt against the Clefable. But the point is, 3v, like, 3v5 with your, like, 50%. Like, bro, let me just Google this shit. Like, um, how, what was her, what, how much boost did she even get in this game? Like, what was her name? Like, Jasmine. Freaking. What was, like, was, was her name Jasmine? Like, I don't even freaking, like, what was, I don't even know her name. I don't even care anymore, bro. Like, the point is, I wanted to see wh how much her Pokemon were boosted up by, by that orange aura around them. Because I know that they all got, like, at least a 50% boost. Because Clefable does not hit that hard, nor does it sponge that much. I think it was, like, 50%. It seemed like it. That's just ridiculous. But, dude, Slowbro swept, man. Like, bro, like, the Super Super guy, you know that little, the little white guy? Who like always appears in the Silver Super commercials? Yo, I did that to her, man. I freaking gave her the magic eraser on her Pokemon's HP bars. Yo, just freaking wipe that shit away, yo. I wiped the slate clean, yo. Her HP bars were like a chalkboard, and I freaking erased that shit, man. S oh my god, bro. Like you did not want the beef with me or my Whimsicott or my Incineroar or my Slowbro, yo. I didn't need any other Pokemon besides that, and I don't even care at this point, man. Like, how dare this bitch? How dare she kill my Whimsicott? Like, no, bro, you don't do that. Like, no one does that, bro. I'd rather switch out my Whimsicott and let some other Pokemon die. But you actually managed to kill it with a Hydro Pump that hit. Ugh, that hurt, man. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. 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 Nope, nope, nope. That does not work. Bro, so you want to continue traveling with me, Sogolio? Okay, so how about you let me catch you, alright? Like, you just, no, actually, don't even let me catch you. You just hop into one of the Pokeballs so I don't have to go through one of the fights because you already know you can't beat my team. And I'm not going to want to beat you because I can't kill you. I want to make sure I catch you. So, like, just agree to join my team, yo. Because, like, you know I'm a real nigga. I know that you got real nigga powers. So, like, why don't we just combine our forces, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Sogol, yo. Let's just, let's just team up, man. Like, all right. So, let's see what's happening. What's going on here? Do I get to fight you? A battle against Nebby A? Oh! Let's go! Alright, let me save this. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me plan this out. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. So, like, so Leo, Steel Psychic. I'm gonna see how hard my ground type attack hits you. And if I can, like, bring you down to, like, like near, like, 1 HP, like, right off the bat, I can use a quick ball and probably catch you in, like, the first two turns of the battle. Yeah. I'm gonna make it a separate video, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is serious. This is serious, man. Oh my goodness. I'm about to catch a soul Galeo. Alright, so with that being said, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTubers.